Hi friends, in this video, I'm gonna make a mini DC UPS, which is basically a DC backup power supply. This backup power supply is consists of a 12 volt SMPS, a control circuit, a 12 volt battery, and I've also used two buck converter modules to convert the output to 5 volt and 9 volt. So this backup power supply can deliver 12 volt, 9 volt, and 5 volt. So without further ado, let's start this video. If you are not subscribed to my channel, then do subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon so you can get notified about my new videos. Follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I have a second channel, Canny Tech. Do check it out as well. Subscribe and support it. All the links are in the description. First, I'm gonna make the control circuit. To make the control circuit, we're gonna need these components. First, I'm gonna connect LM358 IC and connect its pin number 4 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 pin terminal block and connect its pin number 1 to positive supply and its pin number 2 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 9 volt Zener diode and connect its cathode to pin number 8 of the IC and connect its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 470 ohm resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply and its other pin to pin number 8 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k trim pot and connect its one side pin to remaining pin of 10k resistor and its other side pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1k resistor and connect its one pin to center pin of 10k trim pot and its other pin to pin number 3 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 47k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 1 of the IC and its other pin to pin number 3 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the IC and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 3 volt Zener diode and connect its cathode to pin number 2 of the IC and its anode to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of the transistor and its other pin to pin number 3 of 3 pin terminal block. After that, I'm gonna connect another BC547 transistor and connect its pin number 3 to pin number 1 of first transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of second transistor and its other pin to pin number 1 of the IC. After that, I'm gonna connect a 10k resistor and connect its one pin to pin number 2 of second transistor and its other pin to ground. After that, I'm gonna connect an LED and connect its cathode to pin number 1 of second transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1k resistor and connect its one pin to anode of LED and its other pin to positive supply. After that, I'm gonna connect a 12 volt relay and connect its one coil pin to positive supply and its other coil pin to pin number 1 of second transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 1N4148 diode and connect its cathode to positive supply and its anode to pin number 1 of second transistor. After that, I'm gonna connect a 2 pin terminal block and connect its one pin to common pin of the relay 
and its other pin to normally close pin of the relay. So we have completed the control circuit. Now let's make the DC backup power supply. To make the backup power supply, we are gonna need these things. First, I'm gonna connect plus B pin of the control circuit to positive terminal of the battery and the minus B pin of the control circuit to negative terminal of the battery and connect the plus 12 volt pin of the control circuit to positive pin of the SMPS and connect the line pin of the control circuit to the line of the main supply. After that, I'm gonna connect the line terminal of SMPS to out terminal of control circuit and connect the neutral terminal of SMPS to neutral of main supply. After that, I'm gonna connect the short key diode and connect its anode to positive out of SMPS and its cathode to plus B terminal of control circuit. After that, I'm gonna connect to XL4015 buck converter modules and connect their positive input to plus B terminal of control circuit and their negative input to minus B terminal of the control circuit. I have adjusted the voltage of these buck converters to 9 volt and 5 volt. So we have completed all the connections and now our project is completed. So let's test the project.